What's going on guys? I have my hands on the brand new Philips Hue Sync Playbox 8K that just released in September 2024. I have it right here and I can't wait to talk about it. So I won't waste any time, let's jump right into it. So to begin, let me first mention that I'm not being paid by Philips for this review, nor did they send me any product for free for testing. I bought it all out of my own pocket to show you lovely people. So for those that don't know what this box does, it allows you to synchronize your Philips Hue light bulbs or light strips directly to whatever content is being displayed on your PC monitor or TV screen. This new sync box serves as a direct replacement for the last generation sync box, which previously was only compatible with HDMI 2.0. Now with this latest upgrade, the box works with all HDMI 2.1 features. This means it's fully compatible with 4K resolution at 120 frames per second, VRR which is variable refresh rate, ALLM which is auto low latency mode, 8K resolution and so on. Now the sales website for this new sync box doesn't actually say it works with VRR and those other features, it just says it's fully compatible but it doesn't specify exactly how. So I bought it anyway to test it and it does work perfectly fine with VRR pass through. Now I have tested the pass through on several devices and it worked fine on all four HDMI ports on the sync box. Even better news, because the HDMI ports are 8K compatible, it means this device is future proofed for at least 10 plus years or at least until 8K resolution becomes obsolete. Performance wise, this product handles very well. It's able to accurately decide which color to project outwards when paired with a high end light strip, like the Philips Hue Gradient TV light strip, which can output multiple colors in one single strip. Now the Philips Hue Gradient light strip comes with a built in light diffuser to help blend the colors together, which spreads the light, making it softer against the wall. Now the new sync box works via HDMI, so it reads the color palette via signals sent from your gaming console or whatever device you're using. And it works with all devices on HDMI. Now I have tested it with an Apple TV device and a PlayStation 5. To function, it requires one power cable and includes a HDMI cable which must be plugged into the TV. Make sure the HDMI cable is plugged into a HDMI 2.1 port on the TV with VRR and other settings enabled on the TV and then it will allow the features to work. And from there you have 4 HDMI ports on the back of the sync box which you plug your devices into like your PlayStation and so on. After that it just takes you through a quick 2 minute setup process on the application for Philips Hue and then you're ready to go. It's that easy. The transitions are generally super quick with little to no lag at all, thanks to the direct connection via HDMI. There are multiple different options within the app to choose from for light settings, a video mode, a music mode and a game mode. Video mode offers less softer transitions between colour for a smoother experience. Music mode outputs colours to the lights depending on the sound coming through via the HDMI. Now I can't show you this one properly due to copyright issues, but game mode is where the lights really shine. On each setting you can choose from an intensity setting which allows you to change how quickly the lights fade in and out. The overall results from my tests were great. For example, look how the colours slide across the back wall during these transitions. And when watching video content when the lights go out, the lights on your TV react perfectly. Oh, you in these games. So turn out your lights. Get some snacks. Shout out to Markiplier for making my video even better without knowing it. Overall, this product is top tier. Now you can get much cheaper options for this type of product online, but I'll be very careful about considering from other competitors. From my research over the last seven years of these TV sync light strips, the majority of sellers seem to be from China, with a pop-up website that appears to be from the US or UK, but they're actually not. As I always say, do your research in the company before you buy things from them, but even if they're selling items on Amazon and have a storefront, it does not make them a trustworthy company. And I used to work as a warehouse quality manager at Amazon previously, so I can't stress enough how true that is. Now there are other light strips available on the market which claim to be compatible with HDMI 2.1, but when purchased, they do work with HDMI HDMI 2.1 devices so technically it is compatible but they don't work with full VRR pass through on gaming consoles 
and don't allow 4K at 120 frames per second, but because they just plug in and work, they claim it's compatible. Now compared to the competition, Philips Hue products are far superior. When TV sync lights first came onto the market, I purchased a set of $100 Govi light strips, which came with a camera that had to be placed on top of the TV. And that product was absolutely awful at detecting the color, as the camera had to be aimed directly at each four corners of the TV, any movement at all would throw it off, and it would often give inaccurate color readings for no reason. And it would sometimes output purple colors on my wall in black scenes instead of just switching the lights off. Now the Govi app I was forced to use didn't even work with its own lights on a Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz bandwidth. So I had to go into my wireless router login and split my bandwidth into two separate output signals. One for all my devices at 5 gigahertz and one single bandwidth just for the Govi app to work at 2.4 gigahertz. And I had to disconnect and reconnect my iPhone between five gigahertz and two gigahertz connections whenever I wanted to use my TV. And it requests to have full access to your exact precise locations even when the app is not open and you're not at home using the lights. There's absolutely no reason why they should require your location at all just for using some lights on your TV, let alone your precise exact location when the app's not even open. So for me, that's completely not acceptable. Now the pricing is the big shock factor for this product. The price of the sync box in the US is 34999 and in the UK at 29999. Now it's important to note that I was able to get a 15% discount on my purchase because there is currently a link at the top of the Philips Hue website that gives you a 15% off purchases by signing up to their newsletter. So go ahead and just do that. This is confirmed to work in both the UK and the US. The problem is it's only the box. To make it work, you also need lights. Now Philips Hue Gradient TV light strips for a 55 inch TV are currently going for around $200 in the US and £160 in the UK on third party resellers like Amazon. So altogether you're looking around $500 in the US or £460 in the UK just to get shiny flashing lights around your TV that sync up with the picture. And for me, well that price is just crazy, but is it worth it? Well, if you're like me and you want the best of the best to extend your TV experience off the screen, yes, it's worth it. But better still, it fits in perfectly with all of the rest of the Philips Hue ecosystem. So you can control the lights from your phone, the app works great, there's no camera required to sit on your TV to read the color profiles, and it works seamlessly with HDMI 2.1. So in summary, this brand new product from Philips Hue, the PlaySync Box 8K, does solve all the issues from all the other competitors, but it just comes with a massive price tag. So if you want the best of the best, you'll probably buy this product, but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, there are plenty others out there. However, just be aware, they may not be great. That's it from me today, guys. I'll see you in the next one.